And we kept coming back to this, I don't fit the profile, I don't fit the profile. I was um, mountain biking, um, doing an awful lot of hiking. Um, I cli um, climbed, rock climbed and bouldered. Um, just really fit and healthy and active. My father-in-law did die of um, lung cancer um, nearly 11 years ago now. Um, so I was always aware of lung cancer, but it wasn't something I thought could possibly happen to me. And I didn't realise that basically anybody with lungs can get lung cancer. My symptoms started around about the time of the Queen's Jubilee in 2022. I started with um, almost like a squeaky breathing sound and um, sort of like a husky voice. And I didn't really put it down to me. I thought it was a bit of stress. Um, then symptoms seemed to go away. Then about a year ago, so the end of um, August, September 2022, um, the breathing, the squeaky breathing started again and it almost sounded creaky and crackly. Um, and I started to develop quite a dry cough. And so I went to the GP and the GP was absolutely fantastic. She gave me a chest exam. And she said, well, I can't hear anything on your chest exam. I'm going to send you for an x-ray. So I went for an x-ray a couple of weeks later. And then that's when everything, the ball started to really roll. And they reassured me and they said, no, it's highly, highly unlikely to be lung cancer. You are not the traditional profile, if you like. You're not what we would expect um, from a lung cancer pan um, patient and um, it's highly likely to be infection. When I received the stage four diagnosis, it was as though my world had completely collapsed around me. Um, you, you, your initial thought is how long have I got? Um, and being a mum, you just think, who's going to look after my children? Who's going to look after my husband? Um, this isn't just my world that is completely being destroyed. It's my whole family. However, within that same phone call, it was my lovely lung nurse just said to me, she said, right, don't panic. My lung nurse um, said to me that I could have osimertinib, um, this amazing um, gene therapy drug that can actually extend your life and can pretty much mean that you can live a normal life. And she was saying that Actually, the quality of life that you can get from osimertinib is just absolutely fantastic. And that's true. It's absolutely true. And I am living with it. And I've been living with it now for nearly nine months. When you get that stage four diagnosis, you think you've only got a couple of weeks. You know, you think you, at the most you've got a couple of months. But the fact is that I'm living with this and my brain mets, we can't see them on the CT scans anymore. My lymph nodes, um, they, ca they can't see any activity in my lymph nodes. And my main tumour, the diameter has uh, reduced by 50%. The thing that surprised me most since my diagnosis is probably the fact that I'm still living my life. Um, when you receive a stage four diagnosis, you expect your life to stop. Um, you expect to be incredibly poorly. Um, you expect to um, have sickness from chemotherapy. You expect to be in an awful lot of pain. I, I thought it would really curtail um, your ability to be able to do things. Um, but I'm still taking the dogs out for walks every single day. Um, we've got a big hill near us um, that we walk up every single day. I'm planning on climbing Scarfell Pike in September, I did a mountain in Scotland. I climbed a mountain in Scotland a few weeks ago. I still very occasionally go out on my mountain bike. And when you've got a stage four lung cancer diagnosis, it's always there with you. Um, you can't escape it. Um, and it's, always, it's sort of sat there on your shoulder, um, sort of saying, hello, I'm still there. <laughs> but saying that, you can live a full life with stage four lung cancer. I've got an I can attitude or you get to attitude rather than I have to attitude. And the whole idea behind that is that I get to go out and walk the dogs. I get to go 
to the shops. I get to clean my house rather than I have to. And, and then you start to see how incredibly lucky you are to actually have these things in your life. 